In Red Dead Redemption, we had a lot of mentions to Native Americans, yet they served a very minor role in the game, only being found in parts of Tall Trees. Interesting enough, it was said that Dutch Vanderlyn's new gang of 1911 composed of young natives who came from nearby reservations. But we never did see where these natives came from, and I think that we'll be getting a better look at the Native American struggle with settlers in Red Dead Redemption 2. But today we're going to be breaking down all the evidence that we have thus far of Native Americans or American Indians playing a pivotal role in Red Dead Redemption 2. This includes official information from Rockstar, possible foreshadowing within Red Dead Redemption, some very intriguing leaks, and much more. But if you haven't already, make sure to consider subscribing as I'm your best source for everything to do with this next Red Dead title. And if you missed any of the past videos, make sure to check the playlist. A link can be found in the description which includes a lot of amazing news, information, leaks, and theories about this upcoming Red Dead title that you're not going to want to miss. Nonetheless, it all begins in the opening scenes of Red Dead Redemption. Well, I for one am grateful, Mrs. Bush, that they are finally bringing civilization to this savage land. I could not agree with you more, my dear. My daddy settled this land, and I know he'll be looking down on us. Please, look how we help the natives. Yes, they've lost their land, but they've gained access to heaven. Quite a few characters discuss Native Americans as savages, or in a rather negative light, but it seems in the Red Dead universe, Native Americans clashed with settlers years ago, as noted by Jake and Drew McFarlane. Cows of soldiers around back then. Why'd they leave? Well, I ain't entirely sure. I I heard they had to go up north to fight Indians. Or... Came here from the east. The land had never been settled. For 10 years, we fought the Indians. Tough men. Other references include the abandoned native settlement of Mescalero. In Hamlin's passing, a ruined caravan with arrows sticking from the wood can be found in the desert, and Torquemada, which is likely the ruins of an ancient Navajo settlement. Red Dead Redemption has tons of hidden Native American details, which could be Rockstar foreshadowing to the events that will transpire in this upcoming Red Dead game. Now, the only official look of natives in Red Dead Redemption 2 so far includes a scene of a Native American on a canoe. We also can see a dream catcher in that same scene. This could be indication that this is a Native American territory or village. But looking to the poster of this upcoming game, there has been some questions about some of the characters being Native Americans. Not to mention the speculation that our center protagonist could be half Native American, a trait that Red Dead Revolver's main protagonist Red Harlow shared. Aside from that, we've had a few leaks involving Native Americans for this next Red Dead title. The first is the leaked map which is confirmed to be the real deal by Tech Radar. And what I discovered from this leaked map is that many of the featured locations have hidden meaning behind them. Some of these examples are on the screen right now, but the most eye-catching details were Kahuta, which can be translated from a Cherokee Indian name into mountains that hold the sky, and surprising enough this location appears to be in a very mountainous range in the Grizzlies. Another example is Old Fort Wallace, which was a real U.S. cavalry fort built in Wallace County, Kansas to help defend settlers against Native American raids between 1865 to 1882, also being considered one of the most important military outposts on the frontier. These are just a few of more than a handful examples, and I really can't see this being a coincidence. The other leak that we have is art images from a former Rockstar artist. She posted these very interesting pictures to a portfolio which was deleted shortly after after these images began to get public attention. These pictures could be character designs of Red Dead Redemption 2. As you can see, the Native American characters have unique face paint and masks, which may be potential customization, features, or designs. But that is everything that we know so far about this possible huge role Native Americans could be serving in Red Dead Redemption 2. I'm now going to tell you guys what I think it may translate into. For story, I'm extremely hopeful we see a confrontation between Native Americans and settlers, possibly provoking our main characters to get involved. This could set up a Magnificent Seven scenario, which appears to be teased from the poster, maybe having our gang defending these natives from the US Army or Red Baron who are trying to take their land. I personally would really like to see Rockstar make battles inspired by the Indian Wars, like for example the 1876 Battle of Little Bighorn. Next we have his weapons. One of the biggest letdowns of Red Dead Redemption was not being able to use a bow and arrow. That is probably one of my biggest wants for this upcoming Red Dead title, but I'm also hopeful we see the return of the Tomahawk and new native weapons like spears, war clubs, axes, swords, bolas, and blowguns. A better variety of weapons could definitely make the game more immersive. Now, in terms of Native American locations, it would be interesting if Rockstar separates the settled areas, possibly having certain territories run by Native Americans and the others by settlers or the army. For characters, I don't think that we'll see any natives returning, possibly an easter egg of a younger Nastas, but we'll see for the most part new characters within the whole game, and as customization goes, the face paint, masks, outfits could be very big in single player and online. Ultimately, my hope is that Red Dead Redemption 2 has the conflict between Native Americans and settlers at the center, giving us the player insight into the horrific things that Native Americans suffered by. Look at what you've done to us. Look at us! We live like animals, scrabbling in the dirt. But I... But, but I... But violence isn't the answer! Maybe you live in a different America than we. 
men like Vanderlint will lead you to disaster. I think we've already experienced disaster. The likes which you could only imagine. Put your hands up! It's said that Dutch's 1911 Native American gang members hate the US government and the white man in general for taking their land, destroying their ways of life, and forcing them into lives of squalor. For Red Dead Redemption 2, I think most of us would like to see the conflict in the war that ensued. But anyway, Outlaws, thank you so much for watching. Make sure to smack that like button if you did enjoy this video or found any informative value, and let me know in the comment section below how you think Native Americans could be utilized in this upcoming Rockstar title. Also, consider subscribing for a lot more additional Red Dead Redemption 2 content to come, and turn push notifications on so you don't miss any videos from me, and remember, Outlaws to the end.